This is an order form you remove from a magazine for a free Labion Terror Beast mating whistle. It's ready to be mailed. You drop the order form into the box. The mailbox hums and buzzes for a while. Then an object of some sort drops into the tray at the base of the box. The machine goes silent. <laughs> so, this is Roger Wilco, the man I have been sent across the universe to track down and terminate. I am not impressed. You were too easy to find. You tend to leave a mess wherever you go. Seems you forgot to pay for that Labianian terror beast mating call whistle. Now, let's see. With interest that comes to 400,000 buckazoids. I don't think you've got that kind of cash on you, hmm? No? I didn't think so. The good people at the Jipazoid Novelty Company are most displeased. Non-payment is a serious offense. But lucky for you, I'm in a good mood today. We'll count to ten real slow, then I track you down. You make it to your ship, I forget I see you. But if I catch you again, I dust you like bunt cake. Roger Wilco, under the authority of ERGS, Extensively Revised Galactic Statute, 2564.45, Chapter 4123, Subparagraph, I hereby command you to beam down and surrender your person for arrest. Failure to comply with these instructions will result in the destruction of your ship and everyone aboard. Looks like the Jipazoid Novelty Company still hasn't forgotten about that little piece of mail fraud you pulled on them back in Space Quest 2. I thought all that was over after I had that run with uh, Arnoid on the planet Flea but a few years back. You thought wrong, human. It just goes to show. Never send a man droid to do a womanoid's work. Can we come to some sort of arrangement? Beam down to the planet. Your body will be disassembled and sold to various biotechnology firms to pay interest and collection fees. go. Looks like you bowled her over with your ingenuity, Raj. She's cooling her jets at the bottom of that pool below. Nice work. I'm scared. Oh. By stretching your limited ingenuity to the fullest, you've managed to knock out WD-40's cloaking mechanism. The downside is now she's really ticked off. You've made progress, now you can see her kill you. Yes. This. Halo and Gears of War also um, ripped off Space Quest V. Because, you know, um, you get hit and you just have to wait a while to recover. <laughs> a Roger can take, you know, like one or two hits, fine. Mm. I know you're here somewhere, Wilco. Come out and face me like a woman. It's your destiny. Maybe you haven't been keeping track of current events, but she's trying to kill you. Damn it. Where did I put it? Get back. Oh.
So, fun fact, that, that puzzle solution was foreshadowed in the StarCon aptitude test. True. Um, what was the answer? Or what was the question and the answer? The question was, you are marooned on an alien planet with no weapons and a killer android out for your blood. You should... One of the solutions was drop a big rock on the robot and shout hasta la vista, baby. Another one was stuff a banana in its exhaust pipe. Oh, that's <laughs> right. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. This is my buddy. <laughs> hey, Cap'n. Well, I'll be. You're still in one piece. <laughs> This ship's scanners picked up a large explosion, and we drew lots to see who got to come down and collect your remains. And you lost. Nope, I won. But I'm relieved to see you anyway, sir. It'll save a lot of uncomfortable explanations back at Starcon. Yeah, see so you got the robot's head there, sir. I've been looking for it. Now, I'll beam you back up to the ship and then finish picking up the pieces down here. Oh, I guess I don't have to pick them up myself. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> the light. You have you have to turn him toward the camera and do it. Yes. Beautiful. A little higher. A little higher. Perfect. <laughs> Honestly, I like it a little lower. <laughs> it looks <weird>. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just want to have Spike with me. I got a treat for you, buddy. <laughs> you only love Spike because he's an inventory item. <laughs> Guilty as <is> charged. <laughs> you think you heard Cliffy beaming in? It might be a good idea to give him that android head. I don't really see why, but okay. <sighs> hey, Cliffy, I have something for you. I just wanted you to get ahead. <laughs> uh, your sense of humor is surpassed only by your captaining skills, sir. Here, I have something you might be interested in. Take your time. <laughs> I was putting this WD-40 unit back together and I had a couple pieces left over. Thought you might like a souvenir. Here you go. I hope it's a boob. Thanks, I guess. All right, let's find out. What is it? A yeah. leftover part from Cliffy's overhaul of WD-40, the Annihilator Android. What is it? WD-40 doesn't appear to be functioning right now. She'll probably make a great science officer once Cliffy gets her up and running, provided she doesn't try to kill you first. Cliffy is too engrossed in what he's doing to talk to you. Well, all right then. So before you go any further, are there any loose ends? Loose ends. Um, I don't think so, but let's see. Wait up, Gavin. I'll go with you. I'd be back by now if it wasn't for your little, so little amble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ship. Well, hey, why did we beam here? I wonder if there's this little device had anything to do with it. What gives? <laughs> this must be the cloaked ship that the killer android meet. <laughs> <laughs> Go on without me, Kevin. 
I'm not going to make it. These rocky crags jut upwards a thousand miles from the valley floor. Watch your step. You can't see WD-40's ship, but your razor-sharp intellect tells you it must be around here somewhere. Try that again, but click a little slower. Think you're missing a hot spot. On the inventory item. Ugh. There you go. It's your key fob. <laughs> Sponsored by boob? <laughs> Sponsored by shit. <laughs> Sponsored by tit. Perfect. <laughs> I take thing of a jig. WD 40's ship has a Spartan and totally utilitarian interior, indicative of the single mindedness with which the ship's pilot formerly pursued her victims. This baby is probably rigged with all sorts of lethally effective security devices. I had a feeling. So, WD 40's ship has a Spartan, huh? Huh? Halo mm -hmm. reference, huh? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Zowie! The electromatic security system has reduced you to a stick of hero jerky. The design of the ship's cockpit utilizes an unconventional layout and has a vaguely menacing feel about it. This is a little bit of a pixel hunt, but there's one spot that you can interact with here. I don't think you need the opener anymore. Okay. Are you sure you want to do that? Oh, okay. I feel like I got a warning before. I think because you walked up there before. <laughs> it just looks so funny. These little duck bird noises. I don't know. I don't know what that makes me. Let's see. Oh. A computer screen above your head displays indecipherable information of some kind. You have a sneaking suspicion that it might be important, but no means whatsoever to discern its nature. And I can poke it with a stick. <laughs> Is this the one spot? No. Oh, absolutely not. Oh. No, like I said, this is a little bit of a pixel hunt. You ever noticed in older, like, cell animated cartoons when something's, you know, colored slightly different and that indicates it's going to be animated? Mm. Unfortunately, that doesn't really apply to Space Quest V. <laughs> <laughs> We could also just tell you. 
but I feel like you would want to find it on your own. I do. I just really don't... I'm not seeing anything. I mean, like, obviously there's this, and then we found... Like, you're drawn towards the security system. You just, like, like want to touch it real bad. Like, this one, it looks like a phone to me. I'm sure that's not what it is. It looks like a handle, so I thought, okay, maybe this was something. But it wasn't. We're just gonna... We're just gonna do this. This is totally... This is totally like searching by yourself. Not at all. <laughs> and yet you still sweep right past the hot spots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just. We're just gonna go. You know, piece by piece, just like. <laughs> no, at this rate, I don't think you are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's look for real. I always think there's a bit of a tension when, like, a designer is laying out in their head like how a puzzle is going to work, and then it gets sent to the art team, and the art team makes it look real good, um, but maybe aren't making the vocal point uh, obvious and they're having an impact on gameplay. I wonder or, how much worse this would be in the old one. Or if it's the same. I mean, you did uh, get caught up in Space Quest 1 over something that looked completely innocuous. What part of the ship is it in? A wall. Damn, really? I mean, I, I feel like I've tried so you many You haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a wall. This is a wall. This thing is not anything. What is this? What there the you hell? Go. <laughs> uh -huh. This must be where the cloaking device is housed. It's some sort of locking mechanism. This should be easy to crack open. I wanna... Well, I guess I have to do this. Uh-oh. It appears that you have triggered some sort of alarm. Better get this thing and get out of here fast. Oh, I can't use anything? No, this is a, a test of your reflexes. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a test of your patience. I mean, I wouldn't wait around too long. the hell? Got that panel open. What did I do, though? <laughs> That's another one. Good job. Now get out of here. You know what, actually? <laughs> oh, it was too late anyway. Oh, no, it wasn't. Never mind. Oh, nice split. Oh, <laughs> wow, Chief. Fine. Perfect. Uh, all right. so, so, don't, don't bother speaking. Sua's going to go back and make us do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know how it works. I have to die. <laughs> So would you prefer this or being low health in Zelda? This, because Zelda low <laughs> health is like traumatizing. It's annoying, but it's also um, unpleasant in a different way. Looks like you took a little too long getting out of there, but thanks for playing Space Quest V. You've been a real blast. Okay, and then I wanted to see also... Just so what here? you opened? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's no way I would have. It doesn't look even remotely remarkable to me. I can't even quit. 
No, you're, you're locked into um, solving this puzzle. Oh, awesome. It was so fun the first time. <laughs> I got it! Let's move before this thing blows! <laughs> oh, wow, Chief. Did that hurt? It looked real painful. You okay? Fine! Perfect! <laughs> Help me up! Sure thing. Here you go. I'd like to think this means that Anita Mop does splits in her routine. <laughs> I'll get around to installing this device as soon as I finish my repairs to the Android. Are you sure that fixing her is a good <laughs> idea, Cliffy? I'm still not sold on the whole plan. <laughs> Trust me, sir. Just because you two had a slight misunderstanding, there's no reason she can't become a valuable member of the crew. Slight uh, misunderstanding, Cliffy. She tried to kill me. <laughs> well, there is that, but I'm pretty sure I can crank down her lethality setting a couple notches. Afterward, she'll probably just want to uh, beat you severely. It's not going to cut it, Cliffy. I suppose you're right, sir. It's probably kind of hard to captain a ship if you've been beaten senseless. But I do think it would help keep you on your toes if you took a random swing at you now and again. I don't want her to so much as scowl at me, Cliffy. All right, sir. Have it your way. <laughs> I appreciate that he could have fixed her, like, peacefully this whole time. He just really, <laughs> really wanted to see the year as It's much more entertaining. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I go now? Energize. You are done here, by the way. You can explore if you'd like. You can check it out to your heart's content. You can go back to your favorite log. <laughs> no, that's fine. I, I've seen all I need to see. I missed you, Spike. <laughs> I really wish I could take him I with me. I better put him back. Inventory feels so much lighter. It's not really just complete without Spike. It's really not. But, you know, that's fine. So you live to have the Chippesoid Novelty Company off your back for another day. Yes. For, I'm sure, five minutes. Not gonna like hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to check out and check in with them periodically because they do get new dialogue. Do I have to talk to them from mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think you've talked to Drool completely. We didn't? How does, how does the refuse recovery system work, Drool? When are we finished with the mission? Where's a good place to go for shore leave? The refuse recovery system, or RRS for short, is the primary means by which the Hoover-class garbage scows perform their designated mission. The underlying system is relatively simple. A vacuumatic containment field works in conjunction with tractor beams to suck up debris and space trash. After collection, refuse is moved into the Eureka's quantum garbage compactor, where it can be reduced for transport to a designated dumping zone. Wow, and I thought the floor scrubber in the academy was impressive. Well, I guess we must have done them, but... There aren't a lot of options open to us, Captain. The only place that's even halfway decent in this sector is the space bar. Maybe we'll have to check it out. I certainly hope we will, sir. Yeah, 
I guess it's just gonna say all that. It's kind of a long story. Relax, there's plenty of time until the travel timer runs out. Well, I was involved in a very unfortunate accident, sir. It was while I was serving on the SCS Stupendous. It was a mistake anyone could have made, really. I'm listening. We were patrolling the neutral zone when an unidentified ship suddenly popped up on our screen. So, naturally, I opened fire with everything we had. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> she was blown to bits instantly. Unfortunately, it turned out to be one of our own robotic freighters. Imagine your embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, after that I got canned and transferred to the Eureka. What did you do, sir? You must have screwed up pretty bad to get stuck with a command like this, or else ticked somebody off really good. I don't know. Well, come to think of it, probably the latter. So I don't think you ever actually picked up the garbage here on Kizir Asgabai. No, I didn't. So you may oh, want I... to do an RRS. Okay. Or maybe not. RRS is the trash thing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ship's running fine. Well, yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> uh, geez. Or maybe you don't need to. Oh, you know, okay. Captain, I could really use a break. How about headed to the space bar for a quick drink? Space bar is 69869. Nice, nice. Coordinates locked in, sir. Ready to get underway. Aye, sir. God, somehow that feels uncomfortable, the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think there'd be some kind of music or something. Would that be adequately sci-fi? I mean, at least it would be like a car radio. <laughs> We're approaching our destination, Captain. <laughs> what is that song da, called? Da, 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 da. That is Better Spanish Flea down. by Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. He said we're approaching, right? Yeah, we gotta slow down now. Aye, sir. Standard orbit. Aye. There we go. Oh, they're so exciting. <laughs> Let's party! Last one down to the station is a rotten orat of them. I love her run. That's how I run. <laughs> <laughs> a wonderful Cliffy's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, um... It's just, uh... <laughs> buck, buck. I forgot that we were doing Buck Buck was uh, a self-destruct. Take it easy on her, Rod. She's recently had a shattering experience. It's kind of sad. Energize. Excuse me, Captain, but I see an old buddy of mine over there by the bar. I guess we must have done all our work. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Yeah, it's time for some shore leave.
<laughs> Time for F you. Fun? <laughs> Fuck? <laughs> so many possibilities. Uh, the last time you saw a creature like with, with a bit mouth that looked like this, it had a big hook in it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Filthy. My, what colorful language. <laughs> The Nova Station is home to the galactically infamous space bar and is the main port of call for ships on Liberty in the G6 quadrant. Weird, I can't, like, look at these guys. That alien looks vaguely familiar. Is this like an AT reference? Captain Quirk is sharing a drink with a familiar looking alien. It's familiar. Maybe it's supposed to be something else. You saw him earlier. Did I? Oh. A, a scruffy-looking space trader is deeply involved with a double Andromeda at the bar. Yes, do you recall the message that we intercepted? Oh, God. Uh, you know, in my, <laughs> my drunken celebratory haze at making Captain, <laughs> I clearly... <laughs> Really Looking forgot. around the bar, you see a mixture of humanoid and alien forms, most of them seriously occupied in the time modern military tradition of tying one on. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize those were my guys. Hello, I am your cocktail waitress, Analog. Bzzz. What's your poison, humanoids? I'll have a double bourbon on the rocks. I'll have a fuzzy nostril. Give me a green goblin. Here are your bzzz drinks. The charges will be deducted from your Starcon account. If you feel the urge to hurl, please feel free to use the restrooms, humans. I just wanted to like hit you in the face and shatter. <laughs> Did he put that on his head? Yeah, he's like pouring it into the top of his head. Ew! Hello there, suck. I mean, partner. May I have a moment? Well, actually, I'm kinda... Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Nilo Jones, Merchant of Venus. Dealer in fine collectibles, trafficker in rare artifacts. What's your moniker, son? Uh, I'm Roger Wilco. Well, Wilco, this is your lucky day. I could tell the first minute I set eyes on you that you're a discerning individual with an IQ significantly higher than the chair he was sitting in. <laughs> a man who knows the value of fine merchandise when he sees it. Well, um... Never fear, Wilco. Nilo can fix you right up. Need some Antarian Firewater? A few gray market copies of the latest Things Quest game? Or a lucky Tribble's foot? How about some Cher Noble Cufflinks? They're a collector's item, you know. Guaranteed to give you that warm glow like only hard radiation can. I don't think... I can see you're looking for something special, Roger. Can I call you Roger? Well, I've got just the thing. Dehydrated space monkeys. They're all the rage in the colony worlds. You don't have to feed them and there's no mess. For you... Hmm, 15 buckazoids. I'm not sure. You drive a hard bargain, Raj. I tell you what, you take a free sample of Space Monkeys and my business card, with my compliments. Then you buy something for your lady friend the next time you pass through here. Ah, uh, thanks. 
Realizing he's not going to make a big score here, the sales beast moves off to find another victim. God, that's so nasty. <laughs> Is there anything more hated than salesmen by these guys? <laughs> Other than epilators? Oh, look who it is. Well, well, well. Look who it isn't. <laughs> Buzz off, laser brain. Are you allowed to talk to him like that? Enjoying your new command, trash man? I recommended you for the job. <laughs> That's sanitation engineer to you, crumb. Ooh. An aristocrat. I bet Ambassador Rankmeister would be really impressed. She and I are having a great time working together closely on the Goliath. Quirk, you have the looks of an Orat with the manners to match. Why, you little... I could have you brought up on charges for that. I demand satisfaction. I challenge you to a game of Battle Cruiser, wimp. Fine! I'm going to kick your aft side into the next quadrant, Quirk. Ha! We'll see about that, broom jockey. Oh, boy. <laughs> Battle Cruiser! So, Suha, do you like the game Battleship? I mean, it's... It's... It's hardly <laughs> much of a game, but... Sure, fine. <laughs> Battle Cruiser, Sea Cat, destroy all four and four yards. Fire from a torpedo. Set a fire torpedo, you can also fire a probe. So basically, you've got three boards, and you'll place, I think, four pieces? You have to click next to choose the next piece. And you can rotate if you so desire. Not bad. Oh. Do I just hit I think done? You have to hit done to go to the next turn, yeah. See, yes, he did. You haven't taken out the whole ship yet. 
Oh, thank you. But, but that was what my pro gave me. Yeah, That's all but you the pro can see. It does, it does a three by three grid. Oh. So what it are the shapes of the lot. ships you have? You can use that to deduce where else you have to hit. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, no. No, oh, I guess it's not. We misled you. <laughs> I guess we're on Quirk's side. <laughs> if you look at the other sectors, you can see your other ships. So... Is this the one I did, or is it this? I swear it was that one. That was what oh, I assumed as well. Oh, wait, I but... see, I see, I see. We, we are looking at, we're looking at uh, the, uh, a different angle of that. It, it is that bottom shape. But it's not here or here. Um, so try hitting ones to on the right side of like these would have been the wings, I believe. So it's either like facing up or down as opposed to left or right. Yeah. Maybe like so, here. No, no, like um, like D, the, the ones D5 are or D5. Yeah. We're geniuses. And then here? Yeah. yeah. And then you gotta guess whether it's facing up or down. Yeah, now do either A3 or E3. Okay. Nice. So, so the last one will be A5. Blessed you. You nailed my large battle cruiser, you weed. Pretty equal footing, unfortunately, but if we could just find a, another one of his yeah. ships somewhere. And if you get bored of this, there is a way to cheat. <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing there. You nailed my command ship. Oh, I am out of probes. Mm-hmm. So now it's just trial and error. <laughs> As God intended. <laughs> the most entertaining time kind of television. <laughs> like that we both got lucky the first time. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so Rick, we're just you're the most this. powerful board gamer on this channel. Um, how does uh, Battleship rank for you? Very low. <laughs> Like, the only thing that's kind of interesting about it is if you're playing with someone you know, and then you're like, okay, would they try to put the ships close together to trick me, or would they spread them around? But like this, there's no... I have nothing to work with at all. Yeah, and oh, there's too much Lord. space on these three boards. Yeah, three boards is really excessive. I mean, this guy is like... <laughs> He's not even... God. This is just really excellent uh, <laughs> design. <sighs> I think they were just very proud to make the reference. Yeah, clearly. This is 
That was so worth it. Where's my Suhoff? Do I not have one? Did you overwrite it? I must have. The balance is restored now. Yes. Finally. Nice. Oh. So for no particular reason, Suha, no, not for future reference or anything, um, what, what, what is your strategy when having to place things in Battleship? <laughs> um, <laughs> I tried to spread them out here, but I feel like when I was a kid, I used to try to, like, tee them, you know, hmm. like, because I thought it would, I don't know, like, you, you wouldn't think they'd be so close, but... <laughs> Might be the shuttle, shuttle or the space station. All right, cool. My scout ship. Okay. You, you got, got a probe. probe. Back. Every time you destroy a ship, you get a probe. I think. Oh, I didn't realize. Okay, then. Let's fucking... Ooh. Hell yeah. Ah. Well, it's not going to be above or below or on the left because that was on the far edge of your probe. Oh, okay. So it's going to be to the right somewhere. Phew. Is it another long one, do you think? I, I there think it's aren't probably any the... that, are that long. Yeah, I think it's going to be the shuttle's going to be a, a plus sign. Yeah, it's either a T or a plus. Ooh. Rick was Ooh, right. It must be the T. This way? Yeah. Or... Mm, I would go I would go on like D8. Okay. That makes sense. Nice. Yeah. Rick's on fire. Yeah. I mean, I, I I'm good at shapes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more left. You destroyed my destroyer, punk. Take that back. <laughs> right, and you got another probe, so... Here, just, just a lot of empty space. Nope. Hey. <laughs> you can always reload. <laughs> <laughs> I could. But you know what? Let's see. Oh, wait, it missed. Hold on. You just probed there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Boy, what if he moved it there? Alright. to save us a little time because this has taken so long. There we go. Ooh, there it is. is. So this is the plus sign. Yeah. The fact that he can't uh -oh. actually even catch me now, like, oh, come on, oh. that's not where I was clicking. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Oh, so close, look at you. 
<laughs> no, whoops. Up one. That's okay, he missed two. Does Quirk have a chance after all? <laughs> My starbase. Arr. I won. <laughs> I won. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you dirty no good. <laughs> what, what's going on here, Cliffy? Captain, that slug bait crewman from the Goliath called our ship a garbage cow. I couldn't sit there and let him get away with it. Buffy, the Eureka is a garbage cow. No, oh, yeah, I forgot. But he didn't have to go rubbing our noses in it. I've heard enough. Guards, place this man under arrest and toss him in the brig. Wait, wait a minute, Quirk. You can't just. I can. I did. Now, just stow it, Wilco, or you'll end up alongside him in a detention cell. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my ship. I wouldn't want to keep the ambassador waiting. <laughs> get one more slug in. <laughs> so yeah, this, this, this whole scene is an homage to uh, Star Trek The Original Series. Uh, the episode The Trouble with Tribbles, where the crew of the Enterprise is on shore leave at a spaceport uh, with a guy who looks suspiciously like the guy who sold us the space monkeys uh, in the episode he's selling Tribbles. Um, and the Klingons are there and they're antagonizing the crew of the Enterprise. And they're like, oh, yeah, that sagging old rust bucket is designed like a garbage scow. And Scotty goes, uh, don't you think you should rephrase that, pal? And he's like, oh, yeah, I didn't mean to say the Enterprise should be hauling garbage. I meant to say that it should be hauled away as garbage. <laughs> That's what pisses Scotty off because you do not call the Enterprise garbage. Um, what happens if I lose? You just don't get as many points. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to reload to do it, but I do want to see what it looks like. But maybe. I I, I am I'm drawing the line there. I am not playing Battle Cruiser until <laughs> I lose. <laughs> You'll just have to imagine the fewer points. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds torturous. <laughs> well, I'm I'm here to have a good time, so let's uh let's drink to that. Did you notice the aliens sitting with Quirk in the upper booth when we came in, Captain? What about him? Well, I have an excellent memory for cranial configurations, and I'd swear it was the same creature we saw in that transmission we intercepted. There you go. What do you suppose it was doing with Quirk? I haven't any idea. What do you think, Drool? Beats me. I didn't even see the guy when we came in. Enough about that. <laughs> I don't feel like talking much right now, sir. This whole incident has thrown my biorhythms out of whack. I need to go back to the ship and meditate with my crystals. Why did you say, uh-oh, here we go again when we came into the bar? Cliffy had a slight misunderstanding with a crew member from the Intrepid the last time we came in here. What do you mean by slight misunderstanding? Apparently, Cliffy made some colorful speculations about this crew member's parentage. And then he proceeded to make some unflattering anatomical references. I get the idea. Males, you can't live with them, and sometimes you can't even house train them. Why, that reminds me of my 14th husband, Vlad. He was always brawling. <laughs> Captain doesn't have time to listen to one of your fascinating personal narratives right now, Flo. He has to figure out how to get Cliffy out of the slammer. 
Uh, right, sir? Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, I told you the captain wasn't a complete closet case flow. I'm with you, sir. Let's go blast him out. That's a fine idea, Drool, but it would draw too much attention. There's got to be a better way. Is closet case like a... like a gay... I, I don't know if slur is the right word, but is that what that's supposed to mean? I, it's I, not a phrase I hear, so I'm assuming it's just like them trying to be creative. I, I think it's like a basket case, but janitor's closet, closet case. Uh, I feel like I've heard the phrase closet case before, but I don't know. I haven't. Why don't you get started on your project, sir? Low sipping a fuzzy nostril. The drink doesn't look very appealing. Maybe you should have opted, opted for a Corona Light instead. Drool is enjoying a strange concoction called a Green Goblin. You can't bring yourself to sample your drink. It looks and smells like the bartender dumped a spittoon into your glass. Oh god, that makes me want to gag. That's so disgusting. <laughs> what is that? What? 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 Noise in the background. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be, like, patrons talking. Oh, um, yeah, I think you're right. You can walk off the right of the screen to the brig, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, too foreboding. Okay. Oh, wait, here we go. No, no, I'll be boop. <laughs> <laughs> security guard had recently undergone sensitivity training and now likes to read his victim's poetry before beating them unconscious. Starcon security police are normally irritable, surly, and generally of poor disposition, except on those rare occasions they feel something is important enough to get really angry about. I'm just gonna... Oh. Aha! Sorry about that jolt just now. Uh, I turned off the force field. Go on in. No. <laughs> ah, what a dweeb. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for the old shut off the power trick. <laughs> no! 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 All right, I guess I'm not going to die. This area of the space station houses space bar patrons whose recreational activities go beyond accepted standards of polite society. All right. The Merchant of Venus's Plastoid Business Chip. A package of dehydrated space monkeys given to you by the sales beast at the space bar. A small label at the bottom reads, Warning, do not allow contents of package to mix with alcohol. Got it. You should save your game. And then all the dang space monkeys lose. Do you uh do you know the core conceit behind the Trouble with Tribbles episode of Star Trek? Just that they like multiplied a bunch? I don't really know yes. much. They multiply a lot. These oh, can you look at one again? I want to read the alliteration. Yeah. Oh wait. Ew! These pseudo-primates seem to possess a pronounced proclivity for procreation. Oh, but they're not in here. So I'm on- so I'm outside the airlock and, and I hear the phone ring. I gotta climb in, cycle the airlock, decontaminate, climb out of the pressure suit, run to the phone. I hate that. <laughs> Turns out it's one of these new phone companies wanting me to switch galactic long-distance carriers. 
He's talking about all these big savings I can get if I just switch from Sprint to TTNA's Friends and Aliens plan. <laughs> can you believe it? What did you tell him? I said, no way. It just isn't worth it. Oh? Alert. Alert. Alert! Come on, let's go see what it is. Maybe we'll get to beat somebody up! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Ah, cops. <laughs> A variety of controls, including those for the force field, are operated from this console. Okay, I guess this Wavy! This cell appears to be as empty as the orb atop your shoulders. Boy, am I glad to see you, Captain. You've got yourself in a fine predicament this time, Cliffy. I'm sorry, Captain, but it wasn't my fault. I know, Cliffy, I know. <laughs> You're not going to just leave me here to rot in this tiny cell for the rest of my life, are you? Of course not, Cliffy. The Eureka isn't going anywhere without her chief engineer. Heck, nobody else can even figure out half the jury rig contraption you've installed. It's nice to feel needed, sir. Now all we have to do is get you out of here. Any ideas? Not a one, sir. Maybe you can find something that'll get through these bars. But be careful. It's mighty cramped corners in here, and I'd like to make it out in one piece. Why are you going to keep saying it like that? <laughs> <laughs> You'll fry your chief engineer. I'm not roasting you, but all right, but. I do think that the um, beam cutter is something that you, they teases you the whole game thing is like a gun. And then the one chance you get to do some delicate work with it is not the answer. Of course. I feel like you should be able to give it to Cliffy and let him cut himself out. <laughs> I know. Unfortunately, that's not the answer. Would you like this business card? Well, you know, I don't know if, what kind of lock it is, but... Maybe you could use it to unlock the door, but... The space monkeys are reproducing at an alarming rate. You could be in big trouble if you don't get out of here soon, Roger. The station isn't going to be able to take the added pressure of so many space monkeys for much longer. <laughs> The atmosphere of the space bar is growing thick with the pungent smelling bodies of space monkeys. It's only a matter of time until the cooling ducts get plugged up. This could soon turn into a dangerous situation. Wait, what was it? There was like red writing. Yeah, you skip past a timed message. Oh well, guess we'll just die. It's fine. I think it was just <laughs> telling you that there there's an alarm or something. Still in there, Cliffy?
Would you like a fuse? <laughs> How about a hole punch? Would you feel better if I gave you a raise? buy myself some time, I guess not. Maybe if you challenge the space monkeys to battleship, that'll solve. <laughs> and I have something you think I should be able to just use. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. Looks like you took a little too long getting out of there, but thanks for playing Space Quest V. You've been a real blast.